Thank you very much for joining me and taking the time out of your day uh, to be with me. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields on this Tuesday watching a huge system from Canada all the way down into the Gulf of Mexico clipping by the Northern Caribbean. There's a second even bigger system on the way. I want to track that and what that means across the Caribbean. I want to zoom down into the Atlantic region of Canada and the severe weather threat that is ongoing with this system. So plenty to cover. It's system after system as we go throughout the end of the week right into next week. Now, snow up toward the Great Lakes. We've seen heavier weather, Tennessee River Valley, back toward the Mid-Atlantic. And then as you get back toward the Southeastern United States, we're thinking of our friends in the Panhandle of Florida, parts of Alabama. There was significant uh, weather this morning and late last night. Tornadoes, some long track tornadoes that stayed on the ground for a long period of time that did level some homes. A lot of damage being reported in the Panama City area. You see these vigorous lines of rain and storms moving across. Tornado watches are out for parts of Alabama, Georgia, into parts of Florida. Please stay weather alert as we go throughout the rest of today in this area. If you have friends, family, there. We're thinking of them and thinking of you, of course, for that severe weather potential there. And then I want to show you what to expect up to the north as we get up towards, say, Canada with even uh, some of that uh, snow. Back through the Caribbean, a resurgence of some rain watching over toward Guyana and Suriname. It's been so dry, though, that uh, fortunately we haven't seen much in the way of flooding. Keep me posted in the comments, though. But watching these fronts getting closer to really be that second front that gets even closer. So let me start with the big picture. Then I'll get into the seas, the winds with this huge wind maker. We have wind warnings in effect with this gale warnings in effect throughout the uh, Gulf of Mexico. Now with this system, there's the severe weather potential right through here. And you see the tail end of the front that'll clip by the Yucatan of Mexico over toward uh, Cancun, uh, Cayman Islands and Cuba, but it kind of washes that it washes out. Northern Bahamas, as this moves in tonight, it will weaken some, but a chance of rain and thunderstorms in the Northern Bahamas tonight. Then for tomorrow, this lifts up here. We'll get into that in a moment. As we work our way though to the end of the week, another system starts to build in the middle of the country. So we're going to see this almost a replay of what we have going on right now. Let me take you from Thursday into Friday and you see it building right there, tapping into the moisture from the Gulf of Mexico. Could see some strong storms in this. This front a little different. It's going to be diving down even more to the south. So Belize, for example, the winds will eventually shift around by the time we get into the weekend. Same thing, Jamaica, Cuba, even over toward Haiti and across Turks and Caicos and the Bahamas, even the Dominican Republic and Puerto Rico, we could see some cooling breezes by late weekend and early next week. Then the system winds up as a snowmaker well up to the uh, north as we get back toward parts of eastern Canada. And another system that is going to follow this. This is a very aggressive El Nino pattern. We've talked about that together in previous videos. It's one front after another. So showing how this is a big wind maker. Then I'll get into the seas and then zoom down to Canada and the Caribbean. Here are the winds out of the northwest. Aside from the storms, winds are roughly around 50 miles per hour, 80 kilometers an hour. Southeast U.S., northern Bahamas stretching back toward uh, the Gulf of Mexico. Now, by the time we get into tomorrow, that system uh, pushes away. The northerly flow doesn't really dive in too much, but let me show you what's next. This is tomorrow. Let me take you into our Thursday. Look at my friends in central Mexico. Look at the higher terrain. Look at those gusty winds uh, building there. Those winds could be 50 to 70 miles per hour or 80 to 110 kilometers an hour. That's our next system forming. And then you see here by Friday, look at that white shading. Strong winds again. Northwesterly flow here, southerly flow here. Where they meet, that is a front. And you see it here. That front starts to work in. We get a northerly breeze by Saturday in uh, Belize. And eventually by Saturday night, Sunday, we may see a northerly breeze in parts of the Cayman Islands, Jamaica, Cuba, Turks and Caicos, Haiti, Dominican Republic, and of course the Bahamas. That, that front is going to dive a little bit more to the south. Some gusty winds, but bringing down some uh, at least uh, slightly cooler weather. Again, of course, it is all uh, relative. Now, the seas are really going to be building easily over six meters in spots. You see it here with this system today. This scale itself, though, is in feet, but you see where you see the brighter colors, dangerous seas, very choppy through the Bahamas. Always thinking of our uh, anyone with marine interest or boaters or captains out there, or if you got to do some fishing, the Gulf of Mexico, uh, Easter, uh, Western Atlantic is a mess with this system moving in. And then you see the high seas, Atlantic region of Canada. This is by the time we get into tomorrow. 
some of the seas over 20 feet. Now, you see it stretching here, still choppy tomorrow near parts of the Bahamas. It'll be a mess near Bermuda as far as the, the seas are concerned. And then even a little choppy in the uh, Central uh, Caribbean. Then this system moves away and we're watching for the next one. So just kind of looking ahead so you could plan ahead if you have any uh, boating interest. This is as we get into Friday, into Saturday. Once again, a repeat. Gusty winds will lead to those high, very choppy seas in the Caribbean, or the, well, parts of the Caribbean, but more so the Gulf of Mexico and the Western Atlantic again by the time we get into uh, Saturday. So plenty to track uh, there for you. Now, watching the system we have uh, that's bringing some of the severe weather back toward Florida. See it moving through with mainly rain over toward the Boston area. This is by the time we get into tomorrow, get over toward uh, Newfoundland, uh, over toward uh, St. John's. We'll see some snow at least initially uh, working in. And then you see some of the rain, Nova Scotia, Prince Edward Island. We'll see rain. Uh, more of the uh, snow is going to be up to the north. So New Brunswick seeing the rain may get a little bit of a mix at times. And then we'll keep an eye out for that next system back behind this one that will eventually crank up and lift in again to the Atlantic region of Canada. So here's the tail end of the front for today. And as I mentioned, Guyana and Suriname, we have a better chance of rain. Some of that may feed over toward Trinidad and Tobago. This first front kind of washes out, but we could see some thunderstorms tonight. As I mentioned, Northern Bahamas by tomorrow, kind of in between things, but still Southeastern Caribbean and St. Lucia, Barbados, St. Vincent, the Grenadines. Grenada, we'll see that chance of some rain. It stays active, not crazy, but it does stay on the active side. And then by Thursday, Guyana and Suriname still seeing some of the uh, showers, not as as much Costa Rica and then we'll watch out for our next system as I mentioned that one dives down closer to the Caribbean by the time we get into the uh, upcoming weekend. So Trinidad, uh, we could see some of those passing showers as we go throughout the day. Same thing in Grenada, about a 30 to 40% chance of rain. Passing showers possible, St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Rain chance, Barbados, about a 40 to 50% chance today and about a 50 to 60% chance in St. Lucia. So as I mentioned, Eastern, especially Southeastern Caribbean, more active. Rain chance, 30% the next couple days in Martinique, about a 20% chance in Dominica as we jog to the north, the rain chance isn't quite as high. Guadalupe, 20% chance. By the time we get into Thursday, though, Antigua and Barbuda, rain chance up to 30%, up to a 30% chance on Thursday. St. Kitts and Nevis and Montserrat, and a 30% chance for tomorrow. St. Bart's over toward Anguilla. St. Martin, Seba, Stacia, rain chance staying limited the next couple days, but we will go up in Puerto Rico by Thursday, watching these fronts nearby. British and U.S. Virgin Islands, rain chance about 40% on Thursday. A 30% chance today in the Dominican Republic, mainly dry across Haiti, rain chance stays limited. 20% chance for us today in uh, Jamaica, rain chance 30% tomorrow and Thursday. I'll watch out for a few spotty showers for us. Cayman Islands, 30% chance for tomorrow. We'll keep an eye on that front by the uh, weekend. Bahamas though, especially Northern Bahamas, better chance of some rain and some storms. Turks and Caicos, rain chance 20%, up to a 40% chance in Cuba with the tail end of that front moving by. Belize, rain chance, pretty limited, 10% chance, a 20% chance in the Yucatan. Rain chance, 30% in Aruba. We could see some passing showers, passing shower possible, Curacao and Bonaire. Rain chance about 10% in Bermuda, but it will be going up as the fronts move in in the higher seas in Bermuda. Costa Rica will see some spotty showers, could get a storm as well. Guyana, as I was showing you, Guyana and Suriname, that rain chance is high, isolated areas of flooding possible, and rain chance about 30 30% today in northern Venezuela. So super active, major storm system just to the north of the Caribbean, the high seas, the gale warnings that are in effect, and another system moving in later in this, this week. That'll bring in some uh, cooler air to our northern section. Some of that will be trying to sneak in. So again, we're thinking of our friends that are dealing with the severe weather. Thank you for joining me, sharing this information. Have a good rest of your day.